what was the one thing about hip hop that really drew you into it, man? Because like I, I've been noticing, you've been kind of diving back into the old school hip hop style with the the Danny Boone EPs that you've been releasing and stuff like that. I love that old school sound, man. What what about that kind of hooked you back in the day? Um, just you know, the beats, the rhymes, you know, um, style. I guess the principles of loyalty and uh. I don't know. I just loved it. You know what I mean? I, I just, yeah. I liked everything about it. I wanted to be a part of it. I mean, of course, I never considered anything like that as far as because I'm not from New York or L.A. or something like that. But I don't know. I, I just don't feel like for somebody to do whatever you want to do. And I just decided that's what I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's you know, dope, not man. whatever you want to do. But it was it wasn't feasible at all for me to do get into it. But and my and I, I didn't really have much support because at the time there was no internet and people around here didn't have big big dreams necessarily like that at the time you know mm -hmm. and it was just kind of like oh no there's this crazy kid in town you know what i mean yeah 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 <laughs> there's, there's this crazy kid in town that could really rhyme and, and I would say, like, back back then, man, you know, like, that was a, <clears throat> kind of a, a new thing for that area, too. Like, I, I know the rap game has really exploded in uh, Georgia nowadays, but, I mean, back back then, man, like, you didn't have Outkast. You, you didn't have T.I. Oh, no. and, and all these dudes. I'd say that was a, it, it was almost, well, you know, the term Outkast thing to be into rap in middle Georgia back then. Oh yeah, I mean back. I mean I'm talking about yeah, like 1985. Yeah, and yeah, nobody went. It, it was that was pretty much the village idiot. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, but it worked out, man. It worked out. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Me and all my fellow village idiots. Let's put it that way. It was about ten of us, but. Hey, but but that can that can show kids out there too, man. That just so uh, just because people don't understand you at this time, don't mean that they won't in the future. You know, and you know if you're enjoying it, who cares what other people think? That's right. That's right. I mean, there's so many thinkers these days; it don't matter. Yeah, you man. Know what I mean, everybody's thinking something on about something. Yeah, man, that old Damn. school hip hop sound though. I've always loved like the old school Def Jam. You know, like Rick Rubin in his prime yeah. with LL Cool J, Run DMC, yeah. the Beastie Boys. Like the the first time that I heard, you know, License to Ill, like that blew my mind as a kid. Like it just it them, oh, them sure. old school hip hop beats, man, went so hard. Like this made you want to. Yeah, no doubt, and it's it, it was a totally different feel back then, and it was all brand new, and it was had me. Man, I'd be riding down the road wanting to kick my windshield out. Yeah, it's man. Exciting. Yeah, and, and that, I mean? that's that's something that's like the the new rap. You know, don't get me wrong. I, I still like a lot of the stuff that comes out of it. You know, but like some, right. it's it's more like R and B nowadays. Like back in the day, man, I, I'd turn on Sabotage and I just want to flip over a car. You know, like it was there was energy to it. It was them the the boom. Uh, bat beats, I guess is what they used to call yeah. it back in the day. Man, that had some energy yeah. to it. Yeah, for sure. And it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. It was a lot more about originality back then, too. And you had to spit, too, man. Like, you had to, like, oh, bring yeah, your sure. A game. For sure. 